Hey everyone, welcome to another Vitable tutorial. My name's Haley. Today, we're diving into a technical skill. I'll show you how to compress your videos to reduce the file size and leave you with some tips for striking a balance between file size and video quality. When you're working with video, giant file sizes become part of your day-to-day. -day. Video takes up a lot of space, something like 10 and a half gigabytes for each minute of uncompressed 1080p HD footage. And it's not just your hard drive that those videos are clogging. Large videos take a lot of bandwidth for your audience to view and can cause your hosting fees to skyrocket. Video compressors reduce file size by removing or reducing some of the details. A compressor will look at each pixel in a frame and compress it by grouping similar pixels together. So instead of conveying data about every pixel in every frame, the video only conveys one dataset about a group of pixels. There are two ways a compressor will reduce details. One is through lossless compression, which removes redundant details or data from the file. This is mostly used by photographers and videographers. And then there's lossy compression, which removes visual detail. But it turns out you can remove quite a lot of detail before the human eye can perceive it. All right, let's jump into a video compression program and I'll show you how lossy compression is done. Right now I'm on apowersoft.com. It's a free video compressor. You'll want to select files to start. And if this is your first time using the website, you'll be prompted to download their programming. From there, select on the file that you'd like to compress and begin uploading it. Once you're in their video editor, you can change the format of your outputted video, and you can adjust the settings. You can also view information, edit, and delete the video you've uploaded. Once everything looks good, click convert, and select where you'd like your converted file to save. Then your video will begin compressing. As you can see, even if you know nothing about video compression, it's still pretty easy to do. Before I go, I'll leave you with some pro tips. First tip, always save an uncompressed master copy. Every time you compress or export into a different file type, the file changes and it's not always possible to undo. Keep your RAWs stashed away in a repository somewhere. Next, work with higher contrasts and saturation. Low contrast and saturation make it difficult for compressors to group alike pixels as they're all too similar. Thirdly, create a strong focal point. Videos with an obvious and visually strong focal point will be easier to compress because pixels outside of the focal point will be lower priority and can be grouped or removed in higher concentrations. And finally, a pro tip. Remove all audio files on videos if you don't intend to use their audio. A muted audio track still carries some data. Ready to go? You'll need a video first. Sign up to Biteable and hit the like button if you want more videos or how-tos like this one. See you next time.